Hey, does this look like spring to you? I love Gerber daisies. And today I am going to show you how to make a regular terracotta pot look like something special. And this could be for Mother's Day, it could just be for your own house, but we're gonna start on a project that's pretty easy, something you can do in one day. I think you'll like it. So let's get started. I'm Teresa, this is Celebration Elevation, and we're going to use a terracotta pot and I got the bottom because, you know, when you water them, it's the little, what, I don't even know what you call this, like a little pot tray, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, then you're gonna need some Mod Podge and you're gonna need some chalk paint and some paper napkins, whatever kind you like. I bought these from Dollar Tree. These I think I had from something else, um, but they're spring looking. So the first thing what we're gonna do though is just start with our pot. We wanna paint it. I'm gonna paint this one antique white and this is Jolie paint. I'll show you here, here. <laughs> um, and I'll put it on, ooh, it's tight, okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put it on the uh, a link for you guys to find it. So with chalk paint, I use chalk paint a lot for crafts and even for painting furniture. I've used it for many things and I love it. So one, one great thing, thing about it is there's no odor. So you can be doing it in a room like I am right now, closed with no windows open and you can paint and it's not gonna knock you out. There's no noxious, is it the word for it? Noxious odors? <laughs> so another great thing is you don't have to prime anything with um, the chalk paint and you can use as many coats as you like depending on how how much you want the paint to show how much you want something underneath it to show like the original item we can kind of when we're done with this we're going to kind of just kind of scuff up the edges to make it look a little bit aged just because I like that look <laughs> but you certainly don't have to do that so I'm going to I'm just starting with the inside of this um, tray, little pot saucer. Maybe it's a saucer. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, and it goes pretty quickly with this. The one thing we're, we're gonna want to do is make sure that this project, the paint, is dry before we start to do decoupage, which is what we're gonna do with the napkins on the outside of the pot and it's going to look really pretty so i think you're going to like this and if you give this as a gift i think whoever you give it to will like it as well but you can just do this for yourself because it's kind of pretty to have your pot sitting around with flowers in them and they all look a little different or maybe make them all the same but it's nice when they're homemade instead of just buying the ceramic ones that are all kind of basic so that's what I'm doing. We are filming this video two days after Easter, so definitely spring is here. It's finally starting to look like spring around my house. Um, I, I mean, as far as the weather goes, it was super cold. It's still chilly, but it's climbing. The temperature's climbing. You can see it happening. I am leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> um, I'm going with my husband to France, which is super exciting. Have you ever seen the movie Bridesmaids? I love that movie. I've seen it so many times. <laughs> I love it. And there's a scene where the bride, what is her name? God, I'm terrible. Um, but she, someone's taking her to Paris to, to get fitted for a dress. And she says, I'm going to Paris, y'all. Or I'm going to France, y'all. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, anytime I tell anybody I'm going there, I, um, that comes into my head. I don't say it to everyone though, but no, I just said it on YouTube. Whatever. If you're watching this and you've watched me before, you know, I don't really care. I just say what comes in my head. It's funny because some people will say, do you have a hard time just continuing to talk to a camera when there's no one there? 
No, because all this stuff is always going on in my head anyway, and now I'm just saying it out loud. And sometimes I actually do that anyway, out loud, because only my dogs will hear it usually during the day. <laughs> it's just me at home. So I will talk to myself. I don't think that's a problem. If you have a background in psychology or psychiatry, maybe it is a problem. I don't know. You could <laughs> you could put it in the comments below. <laughs> I'll take it under consideration. Okay, so you can see how this covers so well, the, paint, the chalk paint. So I'm just getting it completely covered. I don't even think I'm, I'm not going to need another coat. And I'm going inside because obviously the dirt isn't going to come up to the very highest part of the pot. So I'm going a little bit, I don't want to pick it up right now, but I'll show you after. Oh, maybe you can see it in this camera here. But I'm just, I'm kind of going into the pot just so that when the dirt goes below that line, you're not going to see that it is painted. And you know, with this project also, you don't have to paint it if you don't want to. You could leave it the terracotta color and then do the decoupage part on here just like it is. So this step is completely up to you and if you want to paint it whatever color you want to paint it, you can do that. And we're going to put a coating on this so that it will be okay hold it, holding up to water and that kind of stuff. So, okay, and it dries really fast. So you can kind of see that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it dry a little bit so that it's completely dry. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the napkins. So we'll be right back. Well, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so we're back and I finished painting this painted the bottom of this so they're ready to go I also painted another pot um, blue so this one's called French blue so I'm gonna just put that one aside for right now um, I got my Mod Podge out and I have one of the paper napkins so what I'm gonna do first sorry if you hear a bunch of click clicking noise that's my dogs in here and their nails on my on my floor. Okay. So what you do is open up your your um, paper napkin all the way, and then there's a, there's two layers to the napkin, and it doesn't seem like it. I know I'm sh I'm sure because it doesn't, but there are two nap two layers, and you only want one layer. So I'm just trying to find a way to get it peeled back a little. Okay, I got it. So what I did is I just did a little rip on part of it and I'm not gonna use, and that kind of helped me to open it up so I can peel it. So, there you go. See, it opens up. That's the part you don't need. This is the part that you want because that's got the pattern on it. So, what I'm gonna do, I think, is cut some of the roses out. So, let me see, make sure you can see this. You don't have to be exact either. It's not like a big deal if you cut part of it that you didn't want or whatever. So I'm just gonna go with the rose and like a leaf. watch some of my other videos as well if you do like the content on my videos if you would hit that subscribe button I would appreciate it and the thumbs up button if you like it um, and there's also a bell and if you click on the bell it will notify you when another one of my videos comes out so okay there's some like cool hydrangeas in here and I want those I love hydrangeas So I was telling you a little bit about the fact that I'm gonna go to um, to France and one of the things that we're gonna do there, which I'm really excited about, is, um, of course we'll see the Eiffel Tower, but we're also going to go to like this gigantic 
flea market place where it has tons and tons of vendors and there's all different areas for it. I guess there's like um, places where you can find antiques, places where you can find furniture, just all different things like that you might want. And so I'm super excited about that. I want to find some good things that I can share with you back here. And also, um, watch my Instagram over the next couple weeks because I'll be putting some Instagram posts and also Instagram stories and um, kind of keep you updated with what I'm doing that way. So my Instagram handle is at celebration underscore elevation and that's where you'll find me. Okay. I don't know about the hydrangea. Turn on this. Looks kind of weird because of the way the flowers are. Like the rose is perfect. I think maybe I'll just cut the roses. Cut a few more. I'm gonna fast forward this so that you guys don't have to watch me sitting here cutting or I'll cut it out or something <laughs> and just show you at the end. Okay, so I got some pieces cut out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and I don't know if you <laughs> if you have Mod Podge. The problem with Mod Podge is it's like a glue and so the top gets glued on. But Mod Podge is basically if you don't have it, there's different finishes for it. Like this happens to be gloss, there's matte, there's a Mod Podge that you can paint over things you're gonna put in the dishwasher, um, all different kinds. And if you don't have Mod Podge for this project, you can use some Elmer's glue, just mix a little bit of water in with it, and that will create a very similar finish for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just taking a foam brush. I'm just gonna paint a little bit of my pot so that it has a sticky area for this napkin part to adhere to. And then I'm putting the napkin down on it, like this. Um, I'm gonna do some more. So I'm gonna go around the pot doing basically the same thing, trying to figure out which directions and stuff to, to put these pieces of napkin in. <laughs> And um, the Mod Podge is gonna clear, dry clear. So don't worry about feeling like, oh my gosh, there's a bunch of white all over my, whatever color you have there. Um, so it's perfectly fine. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to paint the Mod Podge all over the top of all of these in a minute too. And then when we're completely done, then we'll spray it with a protective coating and I will show you that. That way it can, you know, you don't have to worry about it being out in the rain or when you're watering it, obviously. See where this piece should go. I feel like I have a couple pieces that are the same in a row, which I didn't mean to do. I think I'm gonna actually see if I can peel this one off of here. Not ruining it. I don't know if I can do that. It's probably a bad idea. Oh, no, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't wanna ruin it. I did like these two kind of in a row, but maybe I'll just put something around them and then that will make it better. Or maybe up here. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go over all of it 
with more Mod Podge with this foam brush. You can get a pack of, I think, five of these at Dollar Tree, these foam brushes. It's nice, you can just use it once and then throw it away instead of trying to clean it. Or you can, you can use any kind of brush you have, but this is just kind of convenient. You don't have to worry about cleaning it too much. The Also, with the chalk paint, that just cleans out of your brush with some warm water and <clears throat> excuse me some dish soap like dawn or whatever you happen to have and you just rinse it out clean it that way you don't need any turpentine or anything strong okay this is pretty and like i said it's gonna dry clear so when i show you gosh am i pulling that away from the other screen i'm so sorry if i did that so terrible with like moving the things out of camera range even with two cameras I do it so I'm sorry okay so this is what it looks like right now and I'm gonna let that dry and I'm actually gonna see what with this one I might do some of the, um, the on that blue one that I showed you when I painted French blue. Oh, hey, French blue. <laughs> okay. So that's a, this napkin. And this one I think is going to be easier to separate. Looks like it was, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I was wrong. I'll do this again. Tear it a little bit and then. Oh, I see it coming apart here. Yes, okay. There we go. Separated. Now, with these flowers, I'm just gonna kind of cut around some of them, not really do as carefully around them as I did with the others. I'll just cut some basic shapes out of them and put them around the blue pot. I'm just trying to cut it so there's not like a hard edge somewhere and like this one I have cut that. Okay, so like that looks pretty. said this these are great for this would be a really nice Mother's Day gift for your mom your grandma anyone who likes flowers okay okay I am just about done cutting up some flowers for this blue pot and I hope you notice that I do, this one's gonna be a short video because this is such an easy project. There's not a lot of <clears throat> steps to it. So um, I really try to do projects that are easy and um, inexpensive for you to make because I know a lot of my subscribers are young women who are either have young families or are just young women themselves who are starting out. Maybe you don't have a lot of experience in entertaining or crafting or anything like that. So I just want everybody to have a chance to make these things and not spend a ton of money with the, all the, the uh, materials to make them. Because not only then are they homemade, but they're also not very expensive, like the terracotta pots. I got them at Ace Hardware um, for a couple dollars each. Obviously the napkins are cheap. I think the most expensive thing is the Mod Podge. This is like a full bottle that I've had for quite a while now. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to move this back so I can get under the camera here and show you. 
So again, I'm just going to take some of the Mod Podge and get the surface kind of gluey. I don't want it too thick because then the napkin will buckle. and you can see it you know it doesn't take long and they're simple to make I'm gonna at least have this video out um, while I'm gone on vacation and then I'm gonna try to get something else done too and then Hopefully I can make some videos while I'm there on some of the things possibly from the antiques or something similar. Okay, so that's all glued on. Now I'm just going over it again with the deco with the Mod Podge. Mod Podge decoupage. Oops. And oh, this is pretty. So you can give it to someone with a plant in it. You can give it to them with some dirt and a pack of seeds if you want. Or you could give it to them just plain and let them plant whatever they want to in it themselves. The present itself is the really the, the pot with the decoupage on it and the paint. I like it painted. I kind of prefer the pot be painted first, but like I said, if you really like the terracotta color, and especially if you have some napkins that maybe go with that, um, that's that would be great too. Just make sure you give it a good covering with the. Mod Podge after you've got it glued on here and then I will let these dry and then show, show you how to finish this off. Alright so we will be back in just, I will be back in just a little bit. Okay so these are pretty much dry. You can see what they look like. Show you here and here <laughs> and then this one I put it the little flower in the pot looks really cute. So what I recommend is to put something like this on it next. This is Krylon clear coat. I'm sure it comes in all different brands, but you want to put like a clear coat on it and make sure you spray all of it evenly. It's just like spray paint. So you're going to take it outside. You're going to spray it all, spray the little dishes or saucers too. I think they're flower pot saucers maybe. Anyway, anyway. So spray those two really good. And I would say, follow the directions. I can't remember, I think it says two coats, but um, follow whatever directions are on your can. And then that way they will be protected when they're out in the sun and out in the rain and when they're getting watered. So that's it for this project. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you will come back and join me next time for another project. And keep an eye on my Instagram account and see what I'm up to when I go on my trip. It'll be to Paris and to Germany. So I will see you all back after that. Thanks again for watching. Bye.